Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about all of the broad features of drag. I'll try and do it really quickly and succinctly. There's a lot to get through. Um, and if there are any more questions outside of some of the high level points that I address here, please do contact us. So as you're aware from browsing the site and from all of the previous communication we've done via tips and our help center, you'll understand that there's a number of different board types. So let's start there. So we have the different board types, empty, shared inbox, Google Groups, and effectively these boards are ways for you, you and your team to collaborate together. So here is an example now of us collaborating on a board for support app. So emails are coming into this board. So the first part is really getting this set up. So we're going to talk about that really quickly. So the features at the top here are the collaborators of this particular board. We can invite additional people by just putting their email address in here, pressing add. And what that means is the additional user will then have this same link and they can navigate to this board. And all of the activities, whether it's replying to emails, whether it's adding tasks, adding subtasks, organizing between columns, absolutely everything, is reflected in real time across all of the different users. Outside of that, in terms of setup and some of the features at the top here, we have the facility to search boards. So we can search and sort and filter by read, unread, assigned, card colors, and various tags here also. In addition to that, we have the sort here. So we can sort by newest first, oldest first, unread, due date, and newest and due date oldest. And then we have a feature here that some people like to organize in Kanban. It's one of our core features in the product to be able to bring an additional dimension to the way that you're organizing emails. But some people do like that traditional view still. They can still organize their tasks and their requirements in this view also. And then finally, we have some features here, such as access to renaming a board, sharing a board, which is the same features here, leaving the board to organizing what you want to have access to and what you don't. Um, tag settings, so this relates to organization, creation, editing of all of the different tags that you can see here in red, yellow, and blue. Automations, which is a separate conversation that I'll have at the end of this. And then help center, so access to the help center. So that's really all of the setup and the ancillary stuff, the supporting stuff to what you're seeing in front of you now, which is boards. So with boards, you set up these columns, and we actually have an unlimited number of columns that you can set up here. Most people will have three, four, five, six columns. Some actually have a really large number, depending on how their workflow is. We can organize these columns. We can drag and drop between. We can rename each one of these columns also. Now we move on to the cards. So there's two types of cards that you will create. One card is actually an email. So if I click into this, this is a real-time email that's come in. And the second type of card isn't an email. And it's one that you can generate yourself. And this card has the same feature set that the others do, except that it doesn't actually have an email associated. So they're the two card types. We then go into the cards and all of the features within the cards. So let's click on this firstly. So this is an email that's come in. If we move across the top here, firstly we can rename these to whatever we want. We can change the colors of these cards and that will reflect on the, the board view, which I'll show you in a sec. We can assign individual or multiple team members, and that will reflect just here. We can set or reset due dates, which you can see here. We can assign additional tags. If I click this here, you'll see that there. We can also navigate between cards really quickly. This is a really useful feature if you want to move fast through prospects or through support inquiries or things like that. So next and previous between the cards. And then we move on to this section here. So this is a really fast way to be able to reallocate where you are on the board. So this was a new inquiry. Let's say you've done your reply and now it's in the next column. That immediately reassigns where that card is displayed on the board there. If I move a little bit further down here, the main part of this product is this component here. So this is the email. This is how you and your team handle these emails. So we have the traditional features here, archive, delete, markers, unread, star. Some of the features that Drag brings into place are these here. So we can reply as normal, which is just a reply. Really significant one, we can actually reply as. So members within your team can jump into this email and can reply as Jasmine, as Duda, as supporter, as sale at, so those role or non-role based emails. We've got the traditional self reply as and then we've got the forward as well. So really, really useful feature and it brings true collaboration into the place you really want to have it, which is Gmail. 
Aside from that, we can actually assign tasks to emails also. So um, so we can have an unlimited amount of tasks here. We can reorganize them, really, really simple, but useful to be able to append tasks to an email. So extracting those actions that you may need to take from the email and making them actionable so that you and your team can actually work their way through them. And then we have notes here. So this is a blank canvas. This is really, really useful for you. Uh, possibly dumping out some of your thoughts, possibly making some more formal notes around the circumstance of a card, around the email, things like this. And what we use it for, and what lots of people like to use it for here, is to replace the need for things like Evernote, and in some circumstances, Google Docs, where you just need to append a piece of information to an email, and you don't need this big standalone tool to do that. And then finally here, Add New. Add New is a future feature. Add new will allow you to add additional uh, tabs that is really relevant to your workflow. And that's a, a conversation that I will be explaining shortly. And then here we can have a private chat, excuse that. Um, if I change that to the correct typing, we can have a private chat here. We can also at mention team members and that will give them a notification also. I think that actually covers it on this board. I'm going to navigate back to this card. Sorry, I'm going to navigate back to the board now and just talk you through what you can see on these boards. So I've gone into the depth of what you can do on the card, but what's useful is you can see a lot of that context from being on this board view. So we can see the tags. We can see how many tasks have been completed on the cards. We can see we have a comment and we can see we have a due date and this due date has fallen overdue and so it's in red. But if we click here also, we can interact with these cards in the same way so we can mark this task as complete or not. And you'll also see here, if I drop down a little bit, you can see the notes, uh, the, the an abbreviation of the notes there also. So really, really useful to be able to uh, organize lots of different ways that you need to work within your business into one consistent workflow. I believe that covers all. As a footnote to all of this, these tasks, do have the same feature set, so you can add your tasks here. They just aren't attached to an email, so it allows you, this is really useful, let me let me reframe that. This is very useful if you want boards that don't depend or revolve around this email workflow, but you do want to organize a number of tasks. So a, a good example of that is the use that you may have for Trello or Asana, which don't heavily depend on the email communications going back and forth and you have a standalone application at the moment, you may not want that. You may simply want a drag board where you can have this level of organization and not have that dependency on emails. And I think that covers everything. Open to questions, please do get back to us if you have any. Thank you.